Hello, I'm Dr. Julie Brown, and today I want to show you the Twinject auto injector. They no longer make this auto injector. Um, this one was expired in October 2019. It was made by Virus Pharmaceuticals in San Diego. This one, a little bit more recent. It was expired in February 2011, and it was made by, I guess that's Sayel, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. So, interesting. Open this up. And you can see it looks a lot like uh, an Adrenoclick or an ad generic for Adrenoclick auto injector. It has two caps. It has a label that you can open further and get more information. And what makes this device really kind of a unique device is that after you use the auto injector, you have access to the syringe and needle inside to inject additional doses. And if I cheat a little bit, you're not supposed to do it this way. You can actually open it up ahead of time and see that it has this syringe inside. It has a little bit over a mill in there, and this is one one thousand or one milligram per mill of epinephrine. And since this happens to be a junior device, um, you only need to inject one point one five mils at a time. So there are actually quite a few doses in here, and I actually marked that out in a different syringe. That's each of those marks how many doses, how much you would need for a, a normal dose, a normal 0.15 milligram dose. So there are that many doses in here, and I don't know what kind of instructions you would give to a patient to make sure if they were trying to use this as a vial and syringe to make sure that they injected just the right amount. That would be pretty tricky to just inject that tiny amount but we're going to try and do that ourselves after we inject. First I'm just going to put this back together so we can try to use it the way it was intended. Should have screwed that cap fully on. Okay, so we take off cap number one, cap number two, and then we're going to put this up against our thigh obviously and then fire it. And you held these devices for 10 seconds three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the needle was exposed after use. And then you would simply unscrew the cap, and there would be your remaining epinephrine and your potential additional doses. I believe those little orange pieces here because it blocked the spring from injecting as much epinephrine for the junior device as it does for the adult device. So we're going to remove that little piece. And then this, if I just plunge this, that is probably plunging it about the amount that I marked on that other syringe. I'm going to see if that is true. looks like that might be. That dose from where the plunger left off to where I just plunged it down might have been delivered one more dose. I could then of course pull this back again and deliver more and pull it back again and deliver more. And I could potentially deliver a huge whopping well I could do that too but I could deliver a huge whopping overdose to my patient. So there must have been some potential for risk of overdosing the patient as well. So that's it. That is the uh, design of this fairly unique and interesting way of carrying extra epinephrine doses within one device. Kind of an interesting and novel idea. 
be well, be safe, and carry your epinephrine.